Hey there guys, welcome to another episode of RoboFet. So this Friday I went to FanboyCon. FanboyCon. And I've got to say, it was really incredible. There was a lot of awesome people there, a lot of people dressed up. I got to meet quite a few cool people. And you know what? I think it's just better if I just show you. So let's take a quick look at uh, what it was like. Today's episode, Fanboy Expo. Hey there guys, we're here at uh, Fanboy Con 2015. Um, it's really cool, everybody's dressed up, uh, looks like a good time. This is uh, my girlfriend, Heaven. Um, and we're just gonna go ahead and take a look around, so let's go. Are you? What is the point of all this? You just we, guys, you guys are showing off your stuff? Of, uh, we do a whole lot of uh, charity work. Oh yeah? Costuming. Walkers on North Ridge. <laughs> the thing is so cool. That's just when they check the resume. <laughs> really? So you guys just made that. Yeah, I know, but he's asking if he made it or... It's out of resin. I didn't make it, so all I made out of resin. Very good. You can pick it up if you want. I can tell. I don't have the... Oh yeah, I can tell from the cook. You made them yourself? No, there's a guy, uh, Dark Matter Props, who makes them. Oh, okay. Yeah, they look awesome. Gaming swag. Swag! Stuff we all get. The treachery. Everybody's eating the nachos. Would you recommend the nachos? I would recommend the nachos. Can I eat them? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and cut in back and forth. That way I can go ahead and talk to you guys about everything that happened. Jim was also there. <laughs> Which is funny because I just covered something about the Jim movie coming out a couple episodes ago. Go check it out. It's good stuff. I'll have it in the description box below. Do the wobble. Maybe it's your point. There was also a very awesome group there that recreated a drop pod from Halo ODST, and they had a guy there, he was dressed up, very awesome. I took a ride in the pod, I'll show you how that looks right here. Papalessas, don't puke in the pod. I am on clean up detail today. Do I make yourself clear? Yes, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. Now, part of your basic train is, there's gonna be a display screen up on your right. <laughs> oh, you're done now. <laughs> I'm in control. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. No. Remember your training, Trooper. Oh, I didn't expect to see Luigi here. It's kind of awkward. All right, Trooper. This is not a drill. Are you sitting in your pilot seat? Yeah. If you at any time freeze up out of your seat, your pod will still run and the door will open while you are dropping through the atmosphere. Oh no. Do you understand? Yes. Do okay. I make myself clear? Are you yeah. Sure. You are ready to drop, Trooper. Push the two green buttons next to the controls. Trooper, you are in control of this pod. I'm going to ground sir. Oh, oh. 
The Covenant! No! Oh! It's gone awry. It's gone awry. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. My God, man! This is so legit. You in there? Respond. Yeah. That's an order. I'm here. Visionary Entertainment Incorporated. So you made it out. Afterwards. Uh, I went ahead and took a picture with them in back of a green screen, and it's gonna take about two weeks to get that picture developed. Don't worry, I'll have it in a future video. I also got these really awesome dog tags. It says 105th Hell Jumpers, feet first into hell. Yeah, so these guys over at Visionary Entertainment, that's the name, go check them out. They make some legit stuff. Primal Rage, I remember that from back in the day. Yeah, so I didn't get a lot in the way of figures or video games there, but I did see this and I just couldn't say no. It's the Rancor from The Force Unleashed, which I never ever did get to see in the store. He's not really complete, but oh my gosh, he's so cool. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of vendors there. A lot of people had to take advantage. There was actually some people selling jewelry there that had nothing to do with superheroes. I don't know why. And a car lockout service that actually made an announcement over the loudspeaker. We'll take $5 off if you lock your keys in your car this weekend. And somebody actually lost $150 while we were there. Those of us that had good hearts, not saying that anybody has bad hearts, but we donated enough money so that that person got their money back almost in full. Um, I Unfortunately, I'm not sure if they actually did get the original $150 back, but hey, it all worked out in the end. Restored my faith in humanity a little bit. But this is the events that went on on Friday. I got to sit in on a Q&A with Robert Alsop. Uh, he did quite a bit of the costuming and prop making for Doctor Who. That was pretty cool. So, uh, this is Mr. Robert Balsam. He's a wearable props and costume designer and maker. Is that can you remember? Designer, maker, costume, prop maker, that kind of thing, yeah. He has uh, worked with some people um, that you may have heard of. So. Uh, Tom Hill, something, <laughs> David Tennant, it's just, any time you talk to him, he's not name dropping, he's just talking about work. Yeah. So, he has quite an interesting career, including being, uh, working on costumes for the classic and new series. And this panel is going to be talking about his work with the 7th Doctor era. I was in there, I met a very cool YouTuber that I actually had met a little bit earlier in the day, and oh, there he is. And that was with my nacho montage. And I didn't actually end up getting the nachos. The line was too long. I didn't want to wait. Totally off topic. For those of you who clicked on this video because you want to hear about my food habits, there you go. Let's wait for Silent Bob. Hey, Silent Bob. I can't get a good shot of him. He's trying to hide. He's trying to hide from me. He's trying to escape. I got you now. I got you now, Christopher Judge. Gabby knows. Yes. Yeah. It's the head. Now, they both signed. Where would you like us to find you? On the plastic. Uh, uh, on the plastic. Uh, yeah. uh, on which one? Both? On the second one. The first one that I did, uh, I got injured on the side. Awesome. Uh, they're all calling all Deadpools, calling all Deadpools. We're having a Deadpool photo on right now in the, in the middle alley. We had the same the middle alley. Just look for all the Deadpools. We want to take a picture with all the Deadpools. 60 pound battery pack behind us. Deadpools. So, and they went around to do certain things. I know. They get cut. All right, come on in. I see the actual one from the movie. No, but it looks like it. I mean, I bought this about a year ago. It looks you know, pretty much like it though. Pretty much like it, like it said, every time I put it on, you get flash. He did all the work. He did the work. Yeah, he did it. Well, I had my own suit, but I did a different type of work, which is the fighting gymnastics. So he did all the talking and stuff. He worked in conjunction with the puppeteer, who yeah. moved all the animals. I'm easily distracted. No, please.
With kids now, they, they call her ADHD when that happens. <laughs> Another cool you jacket. Yeah. You're a fan of the turtles? Oh, uh, yeah. you're a fan of those movies, man. Thank you. Could you do me? Could you say? Could you say, could you say combat cold cuts? Combat cold cuts. <laughs> man, I love those movies. I love those movies. I'm glad you do. I wouldn't be here otherwise. Which one would you like? Oh, I know. I know this collection is so <laughs> very hard. Probably this one. That's primary. That is awesome. Yeah. I guess. I can't believe it. This is so awesome. But he said that wasn't the actual one from the movie. No, yeah. Nick had that made. Oh yeah. How, how, what happened to all those? That those unfortunately have because they were foam latex. They've all disintegrated. The, the skins have all disintegrated. You got one of those things, but I'll, I'll work with it. Yeah, I What'd you get? Kawabunga dude and Bodelicious. That's the guy that does the voice, Michael yep. Sisti. Michael Sisti. And then the guy that does the stunts. Yes. They both signed it. That's going on. Yeah. Yeah, this is the picture I got signed by Michael Sisti and Nick Palma. Michael Sisti did all the voice acting for one and two. Nick Palma did uh, quite a few stunts and was in suit in the second movie. But hey, it was really, really, really awesome to meet them. This was probably one of my favorite highlights of the day. I almost can't even believe that I have this. <laughs> Just creeping on, creeping on Terror Reed. Just gonna creep, 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 creep. It's Terror Reed! But you, but you must, yes! <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so Tara Reed was there. If you don't know what she's been in, she was in American Pie. She was in The Big Lebowski as Bunny Lebowski. She was recently in Sharknado, among other things, and much, much more. It's never really been big on my radar, like, I have to meet Tara Reed, but she was there. It was really awesome to meet her. She was very nice. And all in all, it was, it, was, it was just an awesome experience. Yeah, I had a really awesome time. I'm so glad I got to share it with you guys. And I'm definitely gonna do it next year. I'm also hoping to go to Dragon Con this year in September down in Atlanta. So uh, look forward to that. Guys, June is here. It's such an exciting month. Besides everything else that's happened this month, we still got E3 coming up, Batman Arkham Knight's coming out, Jurassic World's coming out, among other things. Plus a lot more that I'm just probably forgetting to mention right now. I'm gonna be covering all that stuff. So guys, make sure to keep watching. Also remember to like, rate, comment, subscribe, you know. You don't have to guys, but when you do, it really, really, really helps me out. Seriously though, guys, thank you for watching. And as always, keep those Punisher hats on, and I'll see you later. Hey there, guys. Uh, don't forget to check out Ninja Walk. I will leave a link to his channel in the description box below. Uh, once again, thanks for watching, and uh, have a good one.